Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're having Taco Bell. I'm so excited because I'm hungry. And I figured I'd eat this before I door dash a little bit. Probably not a good idea because you know how Taco Bell can be on the stomach. But you know what? It's okay. We're going to take that risk today. So yeah, I'll show you what I have in a second. But there's this new drink. Well, I don't know if it's new to Taco Bell, but I've never tried it before. It is the story drink, I think. Yeah. I wanted to try it because it looks good. And I always see people like from my DoorDash orders getting it. Hmm. Yeah, that tastes just like um like Sprite pretty much. So today we have the make your own little combo thing magic happening here. So um this is all stuff I've had before. But what I decided to get with mine, I'll show you in a second. Don't want to make a mess here. Is I got a cheesy gordita crunch. Cheesy gordita crunch. The five layer cheese burrito. Chips on the side. Cheese. And then I got some salsa here. The green salsa, which I don't know if it's a good idea for me to have that, honestly. Got some mild sauce and some hot sauce. So that is everything here. Now it's time to just put... I don't want to make a huge mess. So I got to figure out how I'm going to... I'm hearing something over there. Oh, I'm gonna eat all this. Okay, we're gonna take a bite of the cheesy gordita first. This is like my favorite, second favorite thing from Taco Bell. I think the first one would definitely be the nacho bagande. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. Like, you just can't go wrong with this. I love the fact that it has, like, a soft taco to it, too. And then inside is, like, cheese. Here, in between the, the hard and the soft layer of the taco and the tortilla or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's good. It pairs together so nicely. So I'm parked kind of near a main street, so it might be a little noisy. Yeah, this is good. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, let's go for the chips next. Oops, okay. Yum. Mm -mm. So I cleaned my car today. The goal is to not make a mess in here. I vacuumed it inside before I picked up my food. So this is a five layer burrito. I'm gonna take off the top part here because it's always like too much layering if that makes sense. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna talk about door dashing today. That's just what I just thought of right now. Cause someone asked me how is door dashing going. Um, I figured I'd make a little video for it. So that's what we're gonna do. Mm. I put my little curtain up here because in case somebody says park next to me. That will have some privacy. And to be honest, I don't know if anyone would park next to me. It's because of like I parked next to these tall like t um, 
tower ring things if you can see over there so yeah okay go dashing it has its pros and its cons so my number one favorite thing about door dashing is the fact that I could work my own schedule and I don't have to be stuck in one place like you know for example let's say if you work in a retail in a store you know cash register or something you're stuck there the entire time like you know in the store and you have to work always a certain schedule for mine for door dashing you don't you can set your own schedules you can work anytime you want and all that stuff you get to be like your own boss which i love so that's my favorite thing is being able to work my own schedule so for me usually it depends i will i will work daytime i don't like to work at night just because it's hard for me to find the houses at night. I've had like certain times where I had to work at night because uh, I decided to accept an order last minute and then it went past sunset. So it got dark by the time I delivered it. And it was so hard to find the houses. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm a noob and I haven't done it that often for like, that I haven't door dashed at night. So it was just, it was insane for me. So yeah before when i first started i was always nervous to do it because i didn't believe in myself that i could do it that i could find the houses and that everything you know i just didn't believe in myself that i could do it but this year i think probably about a month or maybe like two months ago i'd probably say almost two months ago i started kind of taking it a little bit more serious and doing it more because i thought you know what it's better than not than you know not um doing it or whatever you know staying at home and just always wishing i could do it but then you know and then i finally just said you know what suck it up girl you can do it believe in yourself and you can do it and then i did i started doing it every single day and yeah it's not it's not bad there are some days where it's good where you earn where you earn good money and there's times where you don't or you barely earn anything or whatever you know So for me, <clears throat> what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I don't, don't want to make a huge mess here. So, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so there's there's three levels to door dashing, right? There's um, silver, which is the lowest level. The second level is gold status. And then there is platinum level. So right now I think I have gold. I'm be I I fluctuate between gold and um, platinum, which is the highest, because like you have to keep you have to have at least a hundred hundred deliveries within one month to be able to keep the the platinum status, which is hard to do sometimes too, especially if you don't you know DoorDash that often. But. Yeah, so mine is currently gold status right now. And I worked so hard, you guys. When I and it, when I first started making it like door dashing more more often, it was down to a silver because I I kind of um what's it called? Ignored or refused a lot of orders and it made my status go down to silver, which is the lowest one. And then I that's when I decided to door dash every single day and then I went and then it went up to gold and then I was like, Okay, great. I want to get it up to platinum and then I got it up to platinum and then I didn't realize how like I know it says you have to have at least 100 deliveries per month but I didn't realize how serious it was and how easy it is your platinum status to go down if you don't have that you know shut up excuse me so sorry there's no interrupted I apologize Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm currently at level two. 
I don't find this thing in gold. One thing you need to know about the ranks. If you want to level up your ranks, accept every order. That's what I did, even the small ones, so I can level up higher and quicker. And that's what I did. And if you don't accept your orders that you get, your offers that come in, your rank does lower. So you got to be careful about declining them. You don't want to decline too many offers because then your rank will go lower and then you won't get the highest paying offer. Because usually if you have like a certain level, like if you have platinum, you're going to be the, like, the first one. If you're in that area and there's no other platinum user, you're going to be the first one to get that highest order. Because the higher the rank, the better chances of you. Like your rank, if it's higher, the better chances that you're gonna get like better offers, you know, better paying offers. So make sure you keep your your rank up high. Don't decline a lot of orders. Orders, offers, those are the same things. Whatever. Don't decline a lot of offers. The money can be good. If you live in a big city, the money is always better. So if you live if you live near a bigger city, bigger than where you're currently living or something, I would suggest driving there in DoorDash and that's what I do. I drive to the next city to DoorDash. I will say though, sometimes we do have I do DoorDash in my town too. Also, DoorDash like um, tracks how many times you ex accelerate. So if you brake too hard or something like that, it'll track it and it'll let you know. For example, say hard brake detected. It'll let you know and it'll track it and stuff like that so yeah just keep an eye on that so DoorDash I think first is if you want to try it I, I would definitely recommend it you know give it a try it's not gonna hurt you it's not gonna hurt anybody give it a try and do it and stuff like that the one thing that can suck about it is the fact that you're putting miles on your car so unless you have like an older car and you don't care if it has miles then you know use that but you got to be careful because you can put a lot of miles on your car but the good thing about door dashing too is like if you're traveling, for example, you know, or you live in your car, whatever the reason or whatever the situation is, you can door dash in whatever city you're in. For example, you're, let's say you're in Portland, Oregon. Let's say you're there traveling and exploring the area. You can door dash in your free time for some cash in Portland. And then when you, if you're done there and your next goal is to go, for example, let's say Vancouver, Washington, or if you, then, you know, you can go on DoorDash there and you can go from Vancouver, Washington to Seattle, Washington and all that stuff. So it's a good job to have, like, you know, it can come in handy when you're traveling. So there definitely is pros and cons to it. I feel like I'm not explaining it that great. I'm not good at storytelling or explaining things. I don't know why, but it's just how I've always been. But it's going good for me. I mean, you know, so there's times where I grind hard and I work every single day. There's times where I don't do it as much, you know. And it, it's cool because, you know, I can take whatever days I want off. For example, let's say today I'm going to go to Dash. If I want, I can take off tomorrow. Or I can door dash during a week and have weekends off. You know, it's really nice. As far as paying bills, it does pay my phone bill and other, like, you know, normal bills. I don't pay rent, so I don't have to worry about that. If I had to pay rent somewhere, I would probably 
not just do DoorDash, I'd have another job, you know? But then it can also get tiring because you know it's a lot of driving. You know, it can kind of get old real quick. But then again, so can any job. But because you have to like you know, you have to put the address to go pick up the food. Like well, if you know the area, you usually know where every restaurant is or whatever. So you know, and you just gotta make sure that you can find every address perfectly and you know make no mistakes. So it can be a little bit of a nerve wracking job. You know, very nerve wracking. When I first started. I was so nervous doing it. I was a nervous wreck. Now I'm like, not. Because there's days where I have good days and I'm just like, wow, this was a good day to come out door dashing. Like one day it was super rainy, but I made a pretty decent amount of money. So I'm just like, okay, this is good that I came out. And then I was like, maybe the, on rainy days, more orders happen or more orders come through because people don't want to drive out to get food, you know, how that goes. Excuse me, so sorry. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. There is other delivery apps, but I haven't tried them. I want to. So maybe someday I will give them a try. There's like Uber Eats, there's Grubhub, probably some other ones too. But I haven't like really tried them. That's it for my food. Just one more. Let me just dip this in. I apologize. I feel like I probably didn't explain any of this good. I'm just not the best at explaining things. I don't know. I'm going to save these pieces for any birds out here or any animals because <laughs> I want to see if I can catch any more rats I don't know if there are any more out here but I'm in the area where they probably where I found them roaming and stuff like that so we'll see if we can capture any of them I don't know if we will but we'll see okay do I need this plastic container for something maybe Maybe I'll keep that in my car for like one day. I might need it for I don't know what, but for something. So yeah, that was pretty good. Excuse me. I'm sorry if I didn't explain how door dashing is. I'll try to make a separate video, write down notes and things that I could talk about so that I don't forget. Like I'm not again, I'm not the best when it comes to story time or telling, like explaining things. I'm just. I suck at that. I don't know why. I just do for some reason. I'm gonna, oof, okay. Hold on. I'm gonna fix something here. So yeah, door dashing is fun. It has its pros and cons. If you're thinking about starting, I would definitely recommend watching some YouTube videos and things. That's what I did. And you know, start in your town first. Your town, I don't know if it, not all towns might, might not have door dashing available. But if yours doesn't, then go try it the next town and just, you know, start slowly. Just remember, if you decline a lot of offers, your rank will go down, and you don't really, you really don't want that because then you won't be getting the highest offers. First, for example, if there's a $15 offer and a $6 offer, the lowest one will be offered to you if you have the lowest rank first. So, yeah, some things to consider about. Don't decline every offer. Sometimes you have to decline some because it doesn't make sense. You know, it might be really low pay for the distance that you're supposed to be traveling. So, you know there is that 
and yeah i don't know i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you don't actually let me know how that goes for you and if you've tried the starry drink let me know what you think of the flavor it definitely reminds me of like a seven up so yeah it's pretty good anyways love you guys i'll see you later bye